Hello. For this assignment, we're going to be working today with oil and water. Oil in the form of oil pastels and water in the form of water with some water color colors here. And I have the primary colors to work with. I also have a mixing palette so that I can mix from these primaries any colors I want. I'm going to start with the oil pastels. And we're doing this based on the work of Alma Thomas. And she would work with these almost like little mosaic tile shapes and juxtapose them uh, without, by leaving a gap here. So now the white of the paper or negative space um, is made into a shape when you apply a shape with the oil pastels. And that shape between the oil pastels, that's where we're going to be putting our wash of watercolors. Now you can do this any way you want. You can just use uh, you know, one color or you could use a variety of colors. You can make your shapes different sizes, irregular shapes. <clears throat> Think about color choices. I have here a red next to an orange. So these would be analogous colors. And then maybe I could go into a yellow. So I have warm colors here. And then I transition into some cool colors here. So the idea is to fill the page with this. And there's no wrong shape, no wrong color choice. It's just what you feel you want to use for your piece. You can even take a color with the oil pastels and then change it by putting some white into it. So tinting it. tinting these colors that already have a lot of white. Here's one that doesn't have white in it and now it does. So you can play around with these oil pastels in various ways, blending them. Or just use them straight out of the box and don't change them. So really just have fun with the color choices and the shapes and building a image using the oil pastels. And you want to do this on um, paper that's fairly, um, <clears throat> has some weight to it because uh, we are going to be going into it with some watercolor. And so that means that you, you want to have some paper that's going to be able to absorb some of that water and then hold its shape. So I'm using mixed media paper for this project. I'm just jumping around, doing whatever colors I just spontaneously choose. To create my piece, I am <clears throat> using quite pretty hard pressure. So it, an example of light pressure would be more like this. But I'm, I'm really pressing down and transferring quite a bit of pigment with each one of these shapes that I create. 
because I want these to seem somewhat opaque. Opaque means that you really can't see through it. And that's because when I come in with the, the watercolor wash, that is going to feel much more transparent. So I will have a nice <clears throat> contrast to the opacity of these oil pastels with that transparent color of the watercolors. So red and green are opposite colors. So putting them near each other makes for quite a contrast level. You can see it's very bold looking in this area with the red and the green. Whereas when I contrast the pink with the red, there's basically pink is a tinted red, so there's not as much contrast. There's more connection with these two colors. I'm gonna use this tinted green, yellow green here with the pink. Let's see, maybe I'll go into some peachy color now. Now, where I'm using a lighter color with the peach and the pinks and the light green, I'll probably try to choose a darker watercolor wash there. Because I am interested in contrasting colors to create a lot, kind of a bold looking image, so. If I were to put around this peach something darker, like a darker blue or dark violet or green, that to me would be more interesting than, or maybe some areas I could do light as well. So it's all about contrast and connection. How much contrast do I want and how much connection? And then finding that balance in your piece. So some of the concepts I've talked about are opacity and transparency, hard pressure, light pressure, Contrast and connection and balancing those two. And juxtaposing opposites. Okay, so now I have my paper covered with the oil pastels. I'll put those away. And I'm going to be working more with the watercolors now. And my mixing palette, my watercolor brush, and a little cup of water. So I can just start, maybe I'll start with the yellow because that's the lightest. Put some yellow down. See if you can see this. Okay. So I'm going to take some lighter color, like yellow, and I'm going to put that into the area around the purple because yellow again is the opposite of purple so it's a complementary pair and by juxtaposing those two things I'm creating a very nice contrast level see how nice that contrast is now um, I don't I want to have variation too so I might go into adding a little bit of red to that maybe make kind of a, more of a, a warm orange here too with this and then I can bring that into this peachy color as well. And you can see wherever 
I put this wash of color, it's not going where that opaque uh, application of oil pastel is. It's, it's beating off it for the most part. There's some areas where it sits on top and, um, and then it's going off to the edges into the negative spaces. So you can see how you know, this feels really opaque here and then transparent around here. Now the orange isn't really showing up very nicely with the, um, the peach. So I think I'll go into some blue for that area. See how much more that shows up? And see how the, the water just beads right off of that? So you get these beautiful transparent washes around these opaque oil pastel colors. And the more water you have in your watercolor, the lighter that value. So you went from something darker up in here maybe to something lighter down in here. So varying color, varying value levels, how dark or light it is, in other words, is advised. Or something at least you should experiment with. Now I think I want to go into, maybe try to mix some purpley color for around this red. So here's like a red purple color. Now something I haven't really mixed is a neutral color. So I'm going to add a little yellow to this red, this purple color I made. Create a neutral color, which is a brown by mixing yellow and purple. There, can you see that? And one of the things I love about this technique is the texture that you get on top of the oil pastel. All right, so you can see how I'm just gonna go around with these washes. And that is our Oil and Water Inspired by Alma Thomas painting.